talking with someone who was trying to figure out the social media landscape for the first time. And she's in the skincare business and she wanted to attract people from all over the world to her content because she was convinced or rather she knew that she could make a difference for people. This is one of those questions where like, what do you say to someone who's like completely new to all this that wants to attract attention and knows that there's a way to do it, but hasn't really gotten started with the process. And I thought about that for a moment and, you know, my mind immediately turned to all these great tools and content distribution and taking advantage of Fiverr. And I'm like, I don't think that's what a beginner needs to know. That's just too much. It's overwhelming. And people make this mistake all the time that they try really hard to create a presence on Facebook and Twitter and Snapchat and YouTube and Instagram and TikTok and on and on. And that's where people get scattered. And and honestly, that's usually the first mistake. Like down the line, yeah, try to post everywhere. But when you're first getting started, when you don't even have a team helping you, it's like, it just doesn't work. It's it's tremendous amount of effort. And you always tend to find more resonance on one or two channels versus like all of them. The advice that I gave was, Pick a channel, the one that you like. And the reason I say that too, because beginners aren't knowledgeable about all the secondary channels that are out there. They don't know about Rumble and Odyssey. They've heard of YouTube and TikTok and Facebook and Instagram. Those are the ones they know. And those are the safe ones because, I mean, they already have a pretty significant user base. And people sometimes go, I need to go where my audience is. And I say, yeah, true. But like, if you pick one of those, you're pretty safe. <laughs> you, like, you really can't go wrong with YouTube or Facebook. Look, I get it. Like, Facebook is not the cool kid on the block anymore. And some kids are like, yeah, it's only for old people. Yeah. Sorry to tell you, though, like Facebook still has the largest user base of any social network out there. And as other countries come online that haven't already, <laughs> sorry to say, like, I think that's the first place people are going to be crowding. So Facebook is, is not out of the game in any way, shape or form yet. I'm not a big fan of it or anything, but let's just face facts. So pretty much you're safe with any of the main social networks. Second of all, I said, like, commit to posting a video on one channel, just one, choose one every single day. And I think it took her for a while to get this, but eventually she was like, okay, so that's like brushing your teeth every day. I don't necessarily feel like it, but it's a pretty good idea and it's a discipline and I do it every day anyway. And I said, yeah, it's kind of like that. Not that you want it to become onerous. Like you don't want to hate posting to social media every day. There are days where you might hate yourself, right? Especially when you're like, oh, I gotta make a video again and I'm going to talk about something again. By and large, you don't want to make it difficult for yourself, which is why the next thing I said was like, what you want to do is show up and talk about a story. Notice how I'm talking about a story right now. I'm talking about something that just happened moments ago. I was on a phone call (laughs) with this lady. You want to tell stories on your videos and you want to keep it to about a minute or two minutes and you want to film it all on your iPhone or your Android phone. Like that really is good enough nowadays. That also minimizes time you spend in editing, which will pretty much help you minimize time spent posting and coming up with captions for social media and stuff like that too. Of course, you could spend an infinite amount of time looking at hashtags and headlines and all that kind of stuff, but I'm like, really the quickest way is just (laughs) set aside a few minutes in your day to grab your phone, film a video for a minute or two, transfer it over to your computer, or you know, if you prefer to edit it on your phone or mobile device, I know there's apps out there nowadays that, that can do that. Spend a couple minutes editing it and then just post and then do that daily. What do you get out of this process? Well, you're gonna find your voice, first of all. You may not quite have that down yet. There might be a certain tone, there might be a certain style about you that you haven't quite discovered yet. And so if you post it every day for a full year and made videos and published them every day for a full year, do you think you would start to find your voice even if you don't know what you're doing at first? Yes. Yeah, absolutely you would. And then your audience is going to find you. Now, that doesn't mean that finding your audience has to take a full year. 
some people do this for 11 days and suddenly blow up. But it, it's an ongoing thing. So like one day you blow up and then you test other stuff. You keep testing and testing and testing. It's like, oh, this didn't do as well. This didn't do as well. This and, Oh, but this one blew up again. And this one didn't do as well. And this one didn't do as well. And this one didn't do as well. And that's the way it works. The other reason that this is so important that it's sometimes missed, like, yeah, you can grow a social media account without content. And y yes, true. And at the same time, like, you're going to pay for followers who don't care about you who aren't going to regularly interact with your new posts, really don't care about the specific type of content that you're publishing, aren't likely to come back, aren't likely to become buyers. So at the end of the day, like, if you have a YouTube channel sitting at over, over a thousand subscribers who never watch your video, it's like you have no engagement. So that doesn't do you any good. The problem is content. Like, first, you got to have something to share with people and like, Publishing every day for a full year or even beyond is not necessarily about the content at that point because you probably hit upon at least a few things that your audience would be interested in by that point. But you got to have something in your library. It's not even worth advertising before you have content. It's not worth sharing your profile with other people. I mean, unless they're friends and family who are amenable to following you. It's not worth going and doing that unless you have content. It's not really worth promoting your link in description or any kind of link outside of the platform unless you've got content. So really think about that. Content first, and then we can build an audience, but it's not likely to work the other way around. So yeah, that recipe again for beginners is pick a platform you like, film a video on your iPhone or Android phone or smartphone, whatever you got, edit it, post it, repeat, do that every day. And content-wise, tell stories. Always tell stories. Tell stories that help people connect with who you are and why. Like, why did you choose this business? Or why do you do what you do? Create bridges so people understand where you're coming from. People don't always remember how-tos, but they almost always remember stories. Unlock the secrets to skyrocketing your productivity, boosting performance, and maximizing profits with my latest premium guide, the Productivity, Performance, and Profits Black Book. Tailored for independent artists and entrepreneurs, this comprehensive resource is your roadmap to turning ideas into reality. Say goodbye to abandoned projects collecting dust on your shelves or buried in your hard drives. It's time to bring your vision to life. Grab your free copy of the Productivity, Performance, and Profits Black Book now at davidandrewweeb.com slash blackbook. That's W-I-E-B-E. -E. Don't miss out on the key to unlocking your success.